Thanks for visiting us here with Cooking with G-Dubs and I'm your host, G-Dubs. What I'm gonna cook for you today is oxtail, the Jamaican style. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it in such a way that you and your family will absolutely love. I'm gonna use different fresh herbs and seasonings as you've seen in my other videos. I'm gonna use, like what I have here is chopped up red onions, I'm gonna use chopped up bell peppers. This is red, orange, and yellow. I'm gonna use ketchup, and I'm gonna use this. And this is really good for those of you who have soy allergies. And this is uh, coco aminos, it's an organic coco aminos, and this is a substitute for soy, for soy sauce. All right, and then I'm also gonna use a um, Himalayan sea salt. And this is something really special. If you check out my channel, this is called Ippies. And this is a mixture of cilantro, parsley, red onions, rosemary, thyme, basil, red bell peppers, yellow, and orange bell peppers, cloves, olive oil, and um, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and some other things. And I've, that's what I use to create this. So instead of using the different herbs, I blended it all together to come up with this. So if you check out my channel, you're going to see how I make it. And once you have this, it'll cut your prep time in half and you'll really, really appreciate it. All right, so without further ado, let's start by seasoning All right. our meat. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start out by using one cup, this is a half a cup, so this is one, two. So one full cup of my ippies. And what I have here is uh, about seven pounds of oxtail. And these are really nice big pieces, real big chunky pieces that I got at my local grocery store. They're really, really big and really, really nice. So my family's gonna love it. So we have the, um, I put the eight piece in there first. Now what I'm gonna use is I'm going to go with one tablespoon of the salt. Okay. That's approximately one tablespoon. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to also add the soy substitute. And that is, an, is approximately about a half a cup. And then I'm gonna use the ketchup. That right there is approximately a half a cup of ketchup. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it all together. And this is how we create our marinade for it. And just this combination alone gives it an absolutely delicious aroma. And you wanna get it nicely well coated. And the thing about oxtail is, is it's a very fatty meat. So when you cook it, a lot of the fat off of the meat would, um, would melt off in the cooking process. And you gotta remember, you have to skim your meat when you're done, or else you have a lot of fat on there. And that's not really good for your health. So I'm gonna show you that later on in the video. All right, so again, when you're done, when you're done the meat this big, and it should be well coated like we see here. All right, now it's time for us to put it on. All right, YouTube, the best way to go with the oxtail is you would want to let it sit overnight or sit for a couple of hours for it to marinate and for the seasonings to get all the way through. So now once that is all, once you go through your marinating process and you let it sit, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the heat. All right, so I, I put a little bit of olive oil down in the, in the pan. And we're gonna put it all, put the uh, oxtail right in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add water. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, probably about like a half a cup.
And this is what we're going to do. We're going to let it, let it boil under medium high heat. And it takes a while to cook, so be ready for that. And I'm going to let it cook like this for approximately an hour and a half. I'm putting on a medium high so that I will slow cook and every so often we'll check on it to make sure that it's cooking and if the water that's inside of it had uh, evaporated or cooked down. And if we do, we have to add a little bit more water for that period of time. All right. And then we're going to check on it periodically and we'll be All right, right YouTube. back. Now let's see how it's looking. Look at that. Don't that look gorgeous? What we're going to do now, as I mentioned to you earlier in the video, we're going to skim the grease because a lot of the fat that was from the oxtail has melted off and we have to sift it out so we can make our gravy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sift it out. We go pour the juices out. So I poured out most of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit for a minute and then it's going to separate on its own. Now what I'm gonna do is put water back in. And that was approximately two cups of water. And now what I'm going to do is add my fresh peppers. Then I'm also going to add my onions. We're gonna let this cook together. This will take about, maybe about like a, a good 10, 15 minutes. Let it cook and then we're going to make our gravy at the same time. And you remember what we used before? We used our ketchup and soy sauce. We add a little bit more now at this time. And then we're gonna add our, our cocoa aminos. And this is gonna create our gravy. Give a quick stir. And then what we're gonna do is let it boil real quick. And then we'll come back and check it for taste. All right, YouTube, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's what it's looking like. And let's taste it to see what it's talking about. Oh man, <laughs> delicious, delicious. It's absolutely delicious. All right, now it's time to plate it. And you're gonna see what some good Jamaican oxtails look like and taste like. All right, YouTube, now this is how our plate turned out. Look at that. So what I have here is oxtail with some sauteed spinach. And you can see how I made a sauteed spinach in another video. It's real simple, it takes 10 minutes to cook. Check it out and you'll enjoy it. Now let's taste the oxtail. And it is super tender right now. Wow. A little gravy on there. All right, now we're gonna see what it tastes like. I put a little, uh, some of the spinach on there. Here we go. My <laughs> It is delicious. Mm. My family's been waiting eagerly until, and they've been smelling this thing all in the house for the last two hours and they can't wait to eat. So when they dig into this, they're gonna lose their mind. Thank you so much for checking this out. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Tell a friend to tell a friend. 
to check our videos out and look at all the different videos that we're going to cook here at our cooking channel, Cooking with G-Dubs. And again, I'm your host, G-Dubs. Thank you so very much for visiting. Until the next video, peace. I'm broken when you're not around.